let us look at irrational numbers today we saw what are rational numbers on a number line you have integers both positive as well as negative and fractions or quotients again both positive and negative so these numbers are called as rational numbers more formally these numbers can be expressed as p over q where q is not equal to 0 so any number that can be expressed as p over q where q is not 0 is called rational however there are some numbers on the number line that are irrational that is that are not rational numbers what are they some examples square root of 2 square root of 3 square root of 5 square root of 15 all of these are irrational numbers and so is pi pi is also irrational we approximate it as 22 over 7 but it is actually not equal to 22 over 7 it's actually an irrational number it can't be expressed as a fraction but for practical purposes we use it as 22 over 7 22 by 7 so all these numbers are called irrational so these numbers can't be expressed as p over q now let us see how to draw some of these on the number line let's say that you want to draw square root of 2 so you have 0 and 1 and if you draw a straight line over here of the length 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 as, one as well as this line is 1 and if you connect these two then by Pythagoras theorem the length of this line is square root of 2 so if you actually take a compass and draw an arc which now intersects at the number line this point on the number line is square root of 2 now let's see how can you draw square root of 3 you already know that this line this is square root of 2 so now let's draw one more perpendicular with the length 1 right so now by Pythagoras theorem, theorem the length of this is going to be let's name this point as let's name this point as P and let's name this point as Q then let's name this point 0 which is representing 0 as let's say that with letter O then length of OQ is equal to by Pythagoras theorem root 2 square plus 1 square and square root of all of these so that is square root of 2 plus 1 that is square root of 3 you can say root 2 square is 2 1 square is 1 so 2 plus 1 is 3 so this length this is, length is square root of 3 now let us draw again within the same method within the compass if we draw this this point will be square root of 3 there will be 2 of somewhere over here so now we know how to draw square root of 2 and square root of 3 you can actually use this method to draw square root of n you can draw square root of n if square root of n minus 1 is known so even for here let me take rid of this reminder if you look over here then we knew how to draw the square root of 2 so we were able to draw square root of 3 similarly if square root of n minus 1 if you know then you can draw uh, square root of n so you can again take square root of 4 is 2 we know that but if you want to draw it you can still like have a length of 1 unit over here draw this arc and extend and that will reach the point 2 
similarly given uh, square root of 4 that is 2 and uh, again you can have a length of 1 uh, over here and if you if you connect these two points and draw an out this will become square root of 5 so you can draw such square roots easily on the number line using this method now each of the points on the number line they are either rational or irrational and this makes the complete number line and all of these are called real typically denoted by R so real numbers are either rational or irrational and each of these can be represented on a number line as well as every point on a number line is either rational or irrational so this is a complete set every so we call the number line as real number line now we'll learn more about the rational numbers and irrational numbers and uh, how do we represent them in a decimal form in subsequent session thank you